Friday, 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 Friday. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I'm Annie. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're your, your masters, masters of send. send. Awesome. <laughs> Since we're going to be sending it with each other every frickin' Friday, we feel the need to give you guys a proper introduction. So, uh, first of all, thanks for tuning into this podcast. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, I'll start. I'm Annie. Um, I'm I'm a sophomore here at Iowa State University. <laughs> My major is public relations, <clears throat> and uh, I love sending it every stinking day. Every day, man. It's every day, bro. And just some fun <laughs> facts about myself. Um, I've met Liam Payne's father, and I think that's cool. <laughs> The and first fun fact you think of? Yeah. I mean, if I just had to think of one off the top of my head. Um, I've, I, I, I really like music. It's my favorite thing ever. And... Do you have any favorite musicians? That's hard. It's a hard question. My favorite artist, my favorite artist is probably the lead singer of Coldplay, Chris Martin. I think he has a beautiful I saw voice. him in concert, front row. Made eye contact with him. With Chris Martin. They have confetti after literally every song. Like, butterfly confetti galore. I love that. I love that. I just think Chris Martin is, like, a beautiful human. What's your favorite song of theirs? Mm. Oh, man. Probably, um, I would have to say Cemeteries of London. (laughs) I just like it. I, like, hate that that's the name of a song, actually. (laughs) Yeah. Um, yeah. What much should I say? I don't know. We're rookies here. You'll get to know us along the way. Yeah, so those are just some, you know, key elements. So I'm Emily Knittle. You pronounce the K. Um, Not Emily Knittle. I'm a senior at Iowa State studying journalism as of the beginning of this semester, but I am graduating in May. Um, A couple fun facts about me. Ooh, fun facts are actually really difficult to think of when you're on the spot like this. Yeah. I'm currently living at home right now. That's kind of a funny thing. I lived outside of college my first three years, living at home just so that I can save money. Um, I would consider myself a master of send, honestly. Um, it's just kind of like that, just get after it um, outlook. <laughs> I'm living at home is the only fun yeah. thing. I can do. <laughs> That's like the nerdiest thing in the world. Let me think. Um, you have lots of fun. Yeah, I do have a lots yourself. of fun lot facts. Um, I really love reading books. Um, my favorite is The Kite Runner. Um, not the kite runner. I've never actually read the kite runner. And why is that? The, my favorite is the book thief. Fun fact about me: sometimes when I think of the book thief, I think of the kite runner because I bought the books together and only read the first like two chapters of the kite runner. So then sometimes I think words book thief, but then I see the picture of the kite runner and then I say that. So that was kind of awkward. That's a f- super fun, a super fact. fun fact about those the two funnest. books together. Um, <laughs> I'm just like making weird noises into the microphone now. I do not write in journals without lines, and I have to write with a G207 pen and kind of a pen snob. So, that's that. That's all you're going to learn for now, because I don't want to give off too much information. Right. And, you know, you said you're a master of send. (laughs) And we, at the beginning, said we're masters of sends. And this podcast is called Full Send Friday, Yeah, as you know. So, like, what the flip does send mean? Okay, so (laughs) we decided to reach out to a couple of friends to get their input to help with a clear definition for you. So if you don't know what the word send, send it means, like our professor (laughs) um, (laughs) does not know what it means, (laughs) I'm just going to read off a couple of definitions from our friends. So coming in first is from our mutual friend, Harrison Getzko. Gotta love him. He replies, oof, a full send has three main aspects. One, you have to be 100% committed, none of that half-effort business. Two, it's important to be sending it fully toward a specific purpose. To sum it up into one word, vision, for the full send is important. And three, it's not a full send unless you say full send out loud. (laughs) Thank you, Harrison. Thank you, Harrison. That is a beautiful work of art, honestly. (laughs) So, okay. Next, we'll go with um, my bro. My bro, Ty. He's my... Shout out to Ty. Yeah, my actual bro. My real brother. (laughs) 
brother from the same mother, if you will. My brother defines it as giving no flips about the outcome of a certain situation. Flippity dip. Flippity dip. Yeah, so giving no flips about the outcome. <clears throat> Thanks, Ty. I asked my friend Mike, who lives in Montana. I said, please define full send in your own words, and he replied with, send it. Thanks for your help, Mike. <laughs> my friend Ben... We only ask guys. <laughs> okay, I ask girls, but they okay, haven't responded. Okay. Um, he said, um, full commitment to something that you are unsure about. There's so, that. now we're going to put it in our own words. Send it. <laughs> if you haven't really, if you're still confused, send it is kind of a pop culture term. It's a very buzzword. It's like the d- today's YOLO. Right, right. But way cooler. Way cooler and way more inspiring. Way more inspiring. The origins of send it. Yeah. I think it's, I think rock climbing, genuinely. Okay. Yeah, so we, we have a pretty big rock climbing culture here. (laughs) 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 Says seriously about Ames, Iowa. (laughs) Send it. Well, what do you think about it? What do you send? You send letters. You send... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not helping you out at all. I'm <laughs> waiting to see what comes out of your mouth next. If you guys can't tell, starting a podcast is kind of uncomfy a little bit. Um, yeah, this is why it's the pilot. This is why it's the pilot, so that you can see us, because we're just real people talking about real life and real sins. Heck yes. <laughs> Retweet. Um, so basically, our vision for this podcast is to come together, to be real, to share stories um, about our own sins, about your sins, and about our friend's sins, to encourage you to have more of a send it personality. Uh, I don't like the word personality. Frick, it's I just... Mindset. Yeah. Send it mindset. Yeah. Send it mindset. Like, there are some things that you just have to... You just have to send it. Yeah. You just have to go um, for it. They are, uh, well, <clears throat> I've been having so many speech ticks so far. Um, Annie, do you have any examples of ways that you've sent it this semester? Oh, Emily. Thank you so much for asking. Wow. Sends can be big and small. That's for sure. So I've Amen. definitely had, um, I've definitely had a wide variety of sends this semester. I'm trying to think, rack my brain. <laughs> for some people. It's hard to even, like, initiate plans. You know what I mean? Like, asking people to do stuff, for example, start a podcast, (laughs) you got to, like, send it. You got to build up the courage. So I feel like that's one way that I send it consistently is just building up courage to ask people to do stuff. Like, little things in pursuit of what you really want. Right. Yeah, without without feeling embarrassed, you know, because nothing to be embarrassed about. As I was thinking about, like, maybe a way that I've sent it this semester... I am, my attention is brought to the very beginning of the semester when I switched my major the day before um, classes started, and so I went into the Monday of school starting without really having my schedule even completed, and there was this one class that I had to get into um, in order to just, like, make graduation work and to make all my credits fit, Um, but the class was full, and so I met with the professor, I sent a bunch of emails, like, people weren't even letting me in. And eventually I was just like, well, I think I'm just going to start showing up to the class and hope that one, either someone drops it or two, she just lets me in. And it was one of those lab classes. So like they cap at 18. And um, so if you don't get in, you don't get in. Anyway, so I just started showing up to the class. So I went on Tuesday and I did all the assignments. I participated in class. I did the um, in-class writing assignments. And then uh, I didn't get in the class. And then I came in Thursday And I did the same thing, and then I came in Tuesday, and I came in Thursday again. And then finally, on, like, the Tuesday, she was like, hey, I'm going to go get your pink ad slip. And they added me into class, and I was just like, well, I guess sometimes you just have to make your own way. Um, It's not really, I mean, I was always told that there's two types of people in the world, the doers and the wannabes. And sometimes you just got to be the doer. Like, Mm -hmm. you got to find your own way. So that's kind of what I was thinking when I was thinking send it this semester. And note to all you college students out there, you can make it happen. Yeah, people send it in different ways. So that's why it's kind of hard to define because it's as big as changing your majors um, to asking someone to do something that you think would be a fun and creative thing to do. Um, 
So that's why it's kind of hard to define. You yeah. Know? <clears throat> you can't really cap a definition on sending it. But it's just kind of come up in, in culture, especially seeming with young kids and apparently in the rock climbing industry, that, like, it's just not enough to want to do something. And when the word send goes out of style, the idea of sending exactly. it never will. Right. So, you've just got to be loyal to your sends. Yeah. That's why we're send masters. Yeah. Honestly. Masters of send. I think that we kind of... Nailed it. I think that was probably the best podcast... Honestly, You've though. ever heard. We're excited to mm-hmm. be sending it with you guys. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. Yeah. Totally. If you're listening to this, we're thinking about starting an Instagram page called Full Send Friday. Something like that. And uh, um, if not, look up our personal Instagrams. I'm sure you can find it from there. But yeah, then through there, it'd be awesome if anyone listening to this wanted to share their info about how they've sent it, how they what they think. And if you have any, is to them. any ideas of people for us to interview who you think really embody the send it um, persona. Life, yeah, persona lifestyle, mm-hmm. um, just let us know. That would be our greatest joy. Yeah. How are we going to outro? We have to check in our booth. What? We've been here over our time limit. Shameless plug for Greenlee School of Journalism and Mass <laughs> Communication at Iowa State <laughs> University. You can use their technology yeah. to make things like... Um, this podcast. Also, the First <laughs> Amendment. We're practicing our First Amendment rights. Okay, yeah. we learned that because we're in Greenlee. We're going to come up with a more creative outro soon, but... Um, for now. Your Send Masters are going to be out for now. This has been Full Send Friday. We'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you next Friday. We'll see you next week. Should we sing an outro? <clears throat> we'll see you next <laughs> Okay, we're getting to do and cut.